Hey, I'll welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365. And in this session, we will discuss more about mail flow. Guys, if you remember last session, in last session, we discussed about a uh, uh, few rules related to the mailbox services, uh, mail flow services, sorry. And now I'm going to uh, explore another important option. Those options can help us to uh, protect our mailing services. So let's move ourselves to Office 365 portal and discuss about the options. Those options can help us to protect our mail services or mail environment, right? So let's move ourselves to portal. But before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel because Teach Me Cloud can give you a live practical based video without skipping any step. So guys, right now we are on page of our Office 365 panel and I'm going to move ourselves to uh, Exchange Admin Center because you know that over Exchange uh, Admin, we are able to find n number of services. Those services can help us to protect our mail and uh, another product which is available in our license, right? So guys, this is our Office 365 panel. We just need to click uh, uh, exchange admin this is the option which is a uh, come into admin center so we just need to click on exchange admin center and talk about the options talk about the services which is available so guys this is our exchange admin center and exchange admin center contain n number of services like as a mail flow we can configure our uh, uh, types of migration services n number of options are available so in last session, we discussed about the rules and I think we already discussed about the uh, types of rules means uh, n number of templates of rule are available. You can create your own rule as per your requirement. So now I'm going to move ourselves to next step migration, then discuss about mobile and uh, report insights. So n number of options are available. We will try to understand each and everything step by step. So today I'm going to define you about the services, about the options which is available in migration so let's talk about the meaning of migration guys as per the name suggests the meaning of migration uh, you can migrate your mailing services from one provider mailing provider or one mail services to another right so let me show you the number of options which is available that can help us to manage the migration services so you need to click on add migration batch and it will redirect you on the page of uh, uh kind of migration path so i'm just going to type a name it's a fully depend upon you you can say that uh, it's a type of project so i'm just going to proceed with the migration task right so you can you can put any name it's fully depend upon you what you want to do that like select the mailbox migration path so it's really important uh, for us we should know about actually office 365 uh, 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 made lots of changes over a portal so if we talk about our latest portal so uh, it, it it give us option to select uh, your mail uh, path like as a migration to exchange online yes i want to migrate the services to uh, exchange online just need to click here next another important option select migration type right so if we talk about old portal, so in case of old portal, entire uh, migration platform are, are already mentioned on, uh, on, on, on dashboard, but right now they make a changes. They made a lots of changes over a portal. So in this case, you need to uh, select the types of migration means uh, about your source kind of source, like as uh, your source is available on um, um, kind of uh, uh, IMAP, yeah, or you establish your mailing services on uh, Google Workspace or any other cross tenant migration or uh, cutover migration, stage migration, remote move migration. So these all are the migration services which is available on uh, our Office 365, especially over a portal of Exchange Admin. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you the migration services. Uh, firstly, we just need to know about the usage of these migrations, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select workspace Gmail migration. So what happened in this case, if you proceed with the uh, Google workspace, so the meaning of Google workspace is basically if you establish your mailing services like as a 
uh, you establish your mailing services by uh, using the G Suite because you know that with the help of G Suite we you are able to establish our mailing services. So if your mailing services are running in uh, ma mailing services are running in G Suite, so you just need to select this particular option. Next, now we need to follow the step. What you need to do create a Google works uh, workspace project create a Google workspace services account and project create a service key enable API's so these all are the prerequisites that we need to set up for the uh, uh, migration purpose so actually the agenda of uh, this particular session I'm just going to define you about the step because what I need to do I need to establish one more uh, um, a kind of mail service over our Google search G Suite, and after that we'll uh, try to migrate our uh, mails from uh, uh, one location to another location from one source to another uh, to our all offline exchange right online exchange like that a number of options are available like as a mobile so in case of mobile mobile uh, device access so this particular option can help us to uh, quarantine devices means like as if you want to block the devices for a few days for a few hours so this particular option can help us so we will discuss each and everything related to the practical but let's talk about the types of migration so here we just need to understand about the migration types first so guys these all are the migration one is remote move migration second is the state migration cutover migration cross tenant migration google workspace migration and imap migration so total of migrations are available are categorized in six different parts so what i'm going to do i'll create another video and uh, in another video we will give you the complete information like as a uh, the usage of migration what are the usage of uh, uh, remote move migration stage migration cutover cross tenant migration and uh, google workspace migration and imap migrations so before that because without uh, existing mailing services we are unable to perform the practical task so that's why what i need to do um, i'll start from the remote move migration so for this particular task I'll create another account and create another free trial Office 365 account. We'll create a few users on our account one and uh, we'll try to migrate the entire users from one Office 365 account to another, right? So as it is, we have a number of options that we need to cover in this particular task, but it's step by step. So first we just complete the part of our migration and after that we'll move ourselves to the next topic. So guys, this is the first uh, uh, part you can say that that can help us to uh, perform the migration task and in the next session we will discuss about the procedure okay everyone so this is just a basic introduction of our migration services so we'll discuss the practical part in next session so that's it guys and take care and bye bye we'll connect uh, soon with another practical take care guys